Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing two interesting routing techniques in networking. Hot potato versus cold potato routing. So imagine we have two independent networks, WAN alpha and WAN beta, connected via two network interconnects or NNI, network to network interconnects. Our goal is to route traffic from a user event on alpha to a destination server in WAN beta and see what's the difference between hot and cold potato routing in WAN alpha. Hot potato routing is a technique where network traffic is routed out of the network at the first exit point possible, minimizing the time data spends in the source WAN alpha network. So when a user data arrives at the WAN alpha, and its destination is a WAN beta, it will be routed across the closest NNI between the two networks. This way, we are passing the data away as soon as possible, like just like a hot potato. We can, for example, achieve this by advertising all the subnets from WAN beta across all NNIs to WAN alpha without any routing adjustment. This should then steer traffic in WAN alpha always to the closest NNI towards WAN beta. On the other hand, we have a cold potato routing. In this technique, the data is kept in WAN alpha for as long as possible and handed over to WAN beta at the NNI that is closest to the destination on WAN beta. This method utilizes WAN alpha backbone and minimizes WAN beta backbone usage. We can achieve this by carefully advertising specific routes and ranges from WAN beta to WAN alpha, such as advertising subnets that are closer to the NNI and the rest of the WAN beta as a supernet for the backup. So to summarize, hot potato routing is used to quickly get data out of the source WAN network, while cold potato routing keeps the data in the source WAN network as long as possible. Each method has its own benefits and is used in a different scenarios, depending on the network requirements. For example, if WAN Alpha is a cloud provider and you don't want to pay for transit bandwidth and prefer to use WAN Beta backbone, then you would select hot potato routing. Another option would be if the bandwidth in WAN Alpha is the part of the commercial deal and utilizing WAN Alpha for a transit would allow for a bandwidth reduction in a WAN Beta core network. Then you could choose a cold potato routing. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech related content.